Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in for another Elite Player Breakdown Analysis. I am John Sins, I am your host, and we'll be taking down Wendell here. And if you should or should not complete him, is he worth it? All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna check the price, the links, and the playability, essentially, right? Those are the three things that you wanna look into when player choosing these players. But guys, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you guys like, follow, subscribe, ding that bell if you haven't, and you've been enjoying this content, check out our daily, daily trade series where we can teach you how to make 100,000 coins a day easily. All right, anyways, we're getting back into this window card. Okay, here we go. First off, it's an 83 and an 85, so it's not gonna be very expensive. Remember, these cards can go up two points given that Bayern Leverkusen gets a stop within five games. So given that we're going to break into his stats the first thing i look i like to look at is player traits and then absolutely the player bio because if he doesn't have the work rates doesn't have the skill moves doesn't have the weak foot i just throw it out right away and so as a left back you're looking for at least a minimum of three weak foot and i'd like to have four star skills and so he has it with the left foot to pair with which windows not bad right and then you look at the player traits dives into tackles which is also nice technical dribbler so he can get out of those tight spaces which is fantastic now now, the thing about it is links and playability now links he's friend or he's a uh, brazilian and has that byron leverkusen so he can actually get you if you have this player guys you can take it and put him in to my man tap soba so he can he can give you a strong link for tap soba for me i i packed him untradeable so there's a chance i will actually complete this since it's a cheap and there's 81 pluses out right now now we're looking into playability so the links are decent the skills the work rates all that's decent he has potential upgrade but here's my thoughts and thoughts on this okay so his stamina is a little bit low for a left back that i like i like to have that a little bit higher i like to have about five more points i'd like to have at least 90 plus his defensive stats are actually very solid for a left back. His aggression is superb. Strength is going to be decent for a left back. Agility, dribbling is all fantastic. Passing is even decent. And the only thing about it is, the one thing that I'm going to tell you guys, if you should or should not break this card, it breaks for me here is at the sprint speed. Having that much of a distribution between acceleration and sprint speed, you're gonna you're you're gonna notice that he's going to get up to 80 pace like he's gonna feel really quick but then like once you get into positions behind the ball or they throw lob balls over the top of you you're going to be weak there and so that is going to be an issue for you so even if you throw a shadow on this guy he's going to get up to 90 pace so it's going to get up to like 93 94 points potentially with the upgrade so i'm thinking one two three points maybe 93 pace so it's going to be almost like as fast as a center back, just a little bit more agile, has a little bit more acceleration on him. Um, and that point, that's the only reason why I would not complete this, but it's a cheap card and it's going to get you really good links. Uh, and plus, I think that right now they're really pushing the bonus like So if you don't have Alfonso Davies, this is a fantastic go with. But uh, when if you if you don't need this card you don't have tap soba you don't need it for like a like a, a a neymar link you don't need this card do not do this it's not worth in the end there's so many other cards and there will be a ton of more other cards coming out so those are my thoughts and facts on it guys that's a leap player analysis for you guys remember to ding that bell if you liked it and make sure you guys drop that subscription we'll see you guys next time